Okay, this is a video of Inika. Um, not quite sure what to tell you guys. Um, this is her. She's um, tie solid. Um, we tie the other horses to twine, but all our babies I like to tie solid. Just teaches them good uh, manners. Um, she's a quiet type. She's not a head shy girl, as you can see. You can, um, you know, play with her ears. Give her a bit of a um, rough up a bit and she doesn't freak out. She's a very quiet sort of nature. Um, unfortunately I'm the only one here at the moment with videoing ability so I'm doing this one handed. Um, she's got nice weight coverage. Not too much, um, just enough. I find um, she gets crusty quite easy being a uh, Frisian so she's quite nice at the moment. Um, she's got good coverage, there's no ribs. Um, she's uh, in the middle of losing her foal coat, so she's incredibly itchy at the moment and scratching on anything she can find. Um, she's good from behind and give her tail a bit of a tug and she's not overly fussed. Um, just come around here. Um, she has decided as of yesterday which wasn't very nice, to give herself a bit of a rub here um, on the fence, which was not appreciated when I found her today. Um, there's the other side, bit of an ear, um, mouth. Thank you, bub. Uh, she's from this side view. Come back and show you her. Um, she's got nice straight legs. Um, I don't believe there's any conformational issues with how she's put together. Um, she's from behind. She's suddenly got herself an abundance of feather. Um, more than I'm actually was expecting. So she's got a lot of hair going on at the moment. And uh, you'll see on these front legs, they're wet at the moment. I've just given them a, a spray with iodine. But unfortunately, she's got... Um, pretty bad mud fever at the moment uh, just on this sort of lower half of her leg it's sort of hard to video it I guess um, but um, yeah we've we've had an, so much rain and the paddocks are just soaked and uh, this girl quite likes to hang down the back so she's decided that she doesn't care if she gets wet so I'll just come around this other side and give you a close-up of this leg too as best I can with a black horse. Um, it's probably a better bit of light there. You can see it's crusty. Um, so I'll be treating that every day. I didn't actually realise she had it. She spent a couple of weeks out the back and suddenly brought her up and it's all come to a head. So um, I'll try and get on top of that as quickly as we can. Hopefully it'll be a whole lot better by the time she goes anywhere. Um, what else is there to show? These are back legs from here. Going down. Back up. Um, a view out here. I'll try and get a video when I've got a helper. Probably won't be until the weekend. But uh, I'll get someone to video so I can show you, try and trot her out for you and show you her movement. Just untying her here. Come around and uh, just walk her up. Come, baby girl. She's quite soft and responsive. You don't need to drag her. She'll plod along and then she stops quite nicely, too. She's a responsive little girl. Walk on, baby. Yeah, whoop. Don't eat. Um, she'll move around quite nicely. She's out the back paddock with uh, not getting any hard feet at the moment, just straight, straight grass and lots of it. And uh, yeah, she holds her weight superbly. So she's checking out all the buckets. Um, I'm not sure what else to video for you guys um, until I've got someone here and I can get some movement shots this is about the best I can do I'm afraid I'll let her go in the paddock and uh, see if I can get some, maybe some shots of her running around if she decides to 
to take off um, otherwise this would hopefully have to do until I um, yeah until I can get someone a video she's um, used to having the lead dragging the lead um, I do that with all my babies when I hold to break them so that they learn to give to the pressure really easily so if she stands on the rope she doesn't have a big spook or a big stress she just sort of pulls it and then just sits, fixes herself up I'll just sort of video around here and see if she she stood on it now so hopefully she'll lift her head up and you'll be able to see her reaction or got two feet on it now and that's about it she's had that done a lot as a youngster so she's kind of got the idea of things dragging around behind her through her back legs um, I leave them on for about a week like that um, during the day and leave them in the round yard so that they get well used to having things wrapping around their legs and whatnot in a pretty safe environment um, yeah I guess that's it so that's pretty much her Aside from that horrible mud fever, I think we discussed everything on the phone. Um, but, um, yeah, I'll get on top of that as best I can anyway. And if you want to know anything else or you want anything specific video, let me know. Otherwise, we'll wait till the weekend and I'll do everything else I can. Um, try and get some trotting and um, leading shots and that type of thing. And maybe get some shots of her coming up to me in the paddock so you can see that she's easy to catch and that type of thing. Um, that's it. All right. Thanks.